everyone, Francine here. I'm super happy to be back with a new video for Create a Smile. In this video, I decided to show you how to create a background using a sentiment instead of a stencil. You know, normally I think I would use a stencil here, but um, I decided to try something different. For this card, I used the Bad Day stamp set from Create a Smile. I stamped the Bad Day sentiment onto white cardstock in black and yellow. And the inks I used are from Stampin' Up and Hero Arts. The supplies I used in this video are listed on my blog and on the Create a Smile blog too. So for the details, just check the blog postings. Before I stamp it on the cardstock, I did some kind of test stamping on a piece of paper. Okay, then uh, I stamped the sentiment randomly on the left of the card, but I didn't cover the whole card because I wanted to keep a lot of white spaces. For this kind of background, you can also use the second or third generation stamping technique. I wanted a bold look for this background, but if you don't like it, you can also make it softer. I decided to use the Fun Chick also from the Bad Day stamp set from Create a Smile. So I stamped him onto a piece of cardstock in black memento ink because later I wanted to color him with Copic markers. I love adding layers to my cards and in this case I think it's better to add some layers because if you don't add some layers the chick wouldn't pop against the stamped background and so by adding one or more layers he will be in the focal point and he will stand out even more. I die cut a penny black speech bubble from black cardstock, then I stamped the bad day sentiment with Versamark and heat embossed it with white embossing powder. The embossing powder is from Stampendus and I always use this EK Success embossing accessory. I really love this tool because it's helpful. So if you don't have such a tool, you should immediately get one. It makes embossing super, super easy and I couldn't emboss without it now. I often add a strip on one edge of my cards because I think it gives more interest. Sometimes I use masking tape, sometimes stamps, but here I chose a design paper that I found in my scraps and I just glued it down to the card base. The next step was to color the little chick. So I used Copic markers and as I told you in my last video, I picked some Copics in my jar randomly. I used some yellow shades, but also orange. But you can see I didn't use all markers I took. I colored the image from lighter to darker shades and I always worked from the edges to the center of the image. Once it was done, I added a darker shade around the edges. I used gray shades, something like C2, C3 and C4. But you know, with yellow, it's really, really difficult because if you add too much gray, it looks dirty. After I finished coloring, I fussy cut the chick. I first wanted to use the finger knife, but then I changed my mind and I used only the scissors. Then I ran a black marker around the edges to give more definition. Oh, and what I forgot to say before is that I chose vellum because it's transparent and so you still can see the background behind. It's really softer than if you would use, for example, um, a piece of cardstock. I decided to add one more layer and thread is a fun way to add layers. I tried black thread, but it was too dark, so I chose the yellow one. At this point, I had just to fix everything together and I added some animal dots to finish off my card. That's the end of the video. I hope you got inspired. I just want to mention that now 
you can share your creator smile creations with us. So if you create a card or any project using creator smile stamps, you can upload a picture on the creator smile blog right in the sidebar. I would really love to see your projects. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you next time again. Bye.